Oh, how I love to be right. What's going on, Dominators? Div Dominator here, and today we got some drama in San Francisco. Brock Purdy is the number one guy, and Sam Darnold has been officially named the number two quarterback. They are going to look into the future of the former third round pick Trey Lance, uh, who, by the way, they spent like three first round picks just a few years ago to go up and get because he was such a magical talent. Once in a generation, you can't miss him. Oh, it's just trading three first round pick, blah, blah, blah. So, this is why I say I, I love when I'm right. I hate when, once the draft starts happening, guys just come out of left field. Think about how Trevor Lawrence was always number one, and everyone always said that Justin Fields was number two, Mac Jones could be in that conversation. All of a sudden, Zach Wilson comes into the mix. Trey Lance comes into the mix. Who the hell are these guys? Oh, another guy from North Dakota. What the hell? And then a guy from BYU. What the hell are we doing? Look at Trey Lance and look at Zach Wilson. Both overhyped guys going into the draft. People smoking something. Thought they were the next guys. And ended up, you know, getting pushed into a situation. Zach Wilson didn't look good his first two years to the point where they brought in Aaron Rodgers and now they're bang hopefully banking on that Aaron Rodgers, you know, shows him a lot, you know, of of veteran instincts, something. That way Zach Wilson could take over when he's done. And I think that leash is short. I don't think Zach Wilson's going to be a solid backup option. But who knows? Maybe he does need just some coaching up, you know, a veteran guy to help him. Trey Lance had that. You had that in Jimmy G. You had that guy to go to. Now, yes, he's not a... I don't even know. I feel like he is... Yes, he's not at the, the level of Aaron Rodgers, but he's a veteran. And he's a very solid veteran. He's won Super Bowls. Yes, he's not won one as a starter, but he's been behind Tom Brady. He has played in great franchises. So, learning from him is a good thing. But now, he's in a quarterback competition. He was picked, you know, the third pick. A team went up to go get him. And now, he's the third guy on the roster. They have Sam Darnold over him. He hasn't looked good in camp. He has not looked good in preseason. And personally, the, I don't know where he goes. Like, I don't think a team trades for him. Because what are you going to trade? A bag of chips? I'm not trading more. I, I think I said this earlier. I'm not trading more than a fourth round pick for this guy. And that's being generous. I'm not picking a, like a fourth round pick, a sixth round pick. Is the is you know fifth round? All of those are in conversation, but I don't know what happens here. Do they keep him on the roster just to keep him? Do they cut him? I think they keep him on the roster, but I don't think he stays very long. Like I don't think that this team, if Brock Purdy, and this is by the way why nobody should care because Aiden O'Connell right now looks like the best quarterback in the draft class over guys that were highly touted. Now, I understand that there are players that you should trust, but think about where the Jets and 49ers would be if they just had Justin Fields or Mac Jones. I think they would be in a... Mac Jones was labeled as the third-round pick. I think Mac Jones could have been the star quarterback. I think so. I think he would be destroying teams in a 49ers uniform. 
But instead, everyone started tugging on guys' ears and said, hey, this guy from North Dakota. Remember the last guy that came from North Dakota? Carson Wentz? Yeah, he had that one good year, and then he got hurt on the way to the Super Bowl, and then he's been very bad ever since. But hey, let's see if there's another shot. This guy, bro, I don't know where he goes. I don't know. We're getting to the point where the league is getting just too hectic with starters. That backups are good because they are not used because there's only 32 teams. And Trey Lance might go to a... I think, where do you go? I mean, you could throw him in that quarterback conversation in in Tampa, but then I think he still gets in the same spot he is now. You put you could put him in could the Cardinals. I think he could steal freaking Kyler Murray's job until he gets back. I don't know where Trey Lance goes. I don't know what's next for this guy. I don't think they keep him. I don't know if they keep him just for this year or if they keep him for the long haul. Like, the, the new rule with having three quarterbacks suited up, I'm just interested in knowing if they're going to keep him for that reason. Like, I also don't want to sugarcoat it. Yeah, when he did play, he played very well. Like, the first game of the season, he played very well. So, they're, I'm just confused when they're exploring their options. So, are they going to call him? You know, he only had four career starts. I don't know what the win-loss ratio of that is. But, I believe they lost week one. I just don't know what happens. Because, I feel like nobody's trading for him. As a team, I'm not trading for him. I don't want him for over a fourth-round pick. And I think fourth-round pick is too generous, honestly. I mean, the 49ers made a gamble. And this is true. If you're a 49ers fan, don't just think I'm shitting on you. You, Every team makes a mistake. This is just a big one. You, You thought that this guy was the guy, the next franchise. To the point where a year ago you were pushing Jimmy Garoppolo out for this guy. And then you ended up keeping Jimmy. And good thing you did because this guy's the next Lamar and he gets hurt right away. So I just don't know what happens with Trey Lance. Because he's injury, the injuries that he's sustained are not great. Do you have to find a spot on the roster to even think like, okay, are we in a position for a starter? Most guys don't want a guy like, like, that's the thing. Cardinals, I feel like, are ready to just move on from Kyler. I mean, there's only a few teams in this league that don't have great starting quarterbacks. I mean, does a team like the Broncos consider it? Because, I mean, similar kind of play styles, I think then you give a good veteran in Russell Wilson to learn from. And then that way the Broncos could hold someone for the future because right now their future doesn't look bright at all. It doesn't look bright now, but it doesn't look bright in the next five years because what happens if Russell Wilson goes, then probably Sean Payton's next because the moment he doesn't have a starting quarterback that could help him keep his uh, amazing coaching stature, his ass is going to leave. That's just how it's going to be. So I don't know what this ha- what happens here. Because that's the only team I really can consider making a jump to go get. I mean, a team that might go to get a backup, possibly the Chiefs. But I mean, there's not many teams that I think actually go for him. Like, or take a chance. I mean, I think Green Bay is already, like, everyone's set on their guys, besides maybe Tampa. I mean, everyone else has their guys for the future, and they have their guys for the present. Like, nobody in the AFC North is going to go for them. No one in the AFC East is going to go for them. No one in the AFC South. Maybe, no, Tennessee's got their guys. Everyone is good, besides maybe a backup position. Um, everyone in the West besides the Broncos makes sense. 
or beside or everyone. I mean, Raiders. I don't think it makes sense for him to go there. Aiden O'Connell looks like a stud. Chiefs possibly. Chargers have their backup, and the Bar- the Broncos. Every other team's good. The the West. They're not going to trade him inside the division. I mean, even if they did trade him, and this is also not even a trade. This is just if they cut him. I don't say he goes to the Rams. I don't think he goes to the Seattle Seahawks. I don't think he goes to Arizona. I think Arizona wants to lose. Carolina's good. Atlanta won't. No, I don't think Atlanta makes that decision. I don't think the Saints do, even though I think it would be smart for the Saints to think about the future. And, I mean, Trey Lance is younger, maybe. But the entire East and North make no sense to me. Besides maybe backup roles. I mean, Lance to maybe Minnesota? Like, maybe? But, like, there's no reason why he would go back up Justin Fields. There's no reason why he might go, you know, go to the Lions. I feel like the Lions want to trust Hendon Hooker as their future, maybe. Like, I didn't mean to make this, like, a rambling video, but I just don't see any point of him being a guy. I don't see him being a top-tier guy right now. I don't like I already seen jokes that people might say, well, maybe he goes to the XFL. And I know I make those jokes all the time, but I feel like for one, this might be I don't think it's likely. Because I think a team would take a chance on him. But honestly, if he doesn't get a job, he should take that into consideration. Just blow up the XFL and just show one of these teams that they're stupid. All these teams that they're stupid. But I think he stays in the East because there's only three teams in the West, or I mean in the AFC, that would actually take him. And two of them are in the same division. So, I mean, I don't know what happens to Trey Lance after this. Now, I think there's only three options. Him being traded somewhere, him being cut, or him staying on the roster as the third stringer, but just suiting up. When, if at all, there's a possibility that Sam Darnold gets hurt or if Purdy gets hurt. I think, but the probability of them having to go through the same situation is so unlikely. Like, the percentage is probably only like a 5% chance. I I think it's even lower than that. I think there's only a 2% chance both guys get hurt in the same um game so i don't know what happens with lance i want to know what you guys think do you think he gets cut do you think he gets traded or do you think he stays on the roster for now and then we'll probably talk about this next season where i guess we're gonna see what teams need a backup or maybe just he just needs new scenery personally if i'm a team that has a veteran quarterback consider it i think they would consider trey lance giving him a shot i think if you are a team that has a good starter but wants to bring a backup in like maybe baltimore because baltimore plays a similar style so maybe baltimore makes the most sense but that's the thing i say that i said the same thing about malik willis and i think it's just because i'm so I'm a Steelers fan, and I'm I'm just so prone to watching the Ravens play with Lamar. And then they have Huntley, who plays sort of similar, but not as great of a skill set. I feel like if the Raiders just had Malik, or even if they just had Lance, that team's still going to be great. Because you just have to make half the time accurate passes, but most of the time you could run your life out, and then boom, you're, you're winning games. So maybe that's the best case scenario is Trey Lance to maybe the Ravens. But then again, do you want do the Ravens want to make an opportunity in a in a gamble in getting a guy to sit behind a guy that you've already paid, so you're he's gonna be a backup. He's not getting he's never gonna touch the starter unless he Lamar gets hurt. But then if Lamar gets hurt, do you want to take the opportunity that Lance doesn't get hurt because he's injury prone too? So I don't know where they go here. I really think that this is just a point where Lance is in a shit situation. I mean, you could only blame him just because he didn't show up. He didn't show out. 
if he knew his job was on the line, he needed to show out, and it just didn't happen. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, do you think that he what what personally do you think is going to happen? If I am thinking logically, the fr there's only two that happen in my opinion. It's either getting traded or he's staying on the team as just the third string. I just can't see them cutting him because then it makes no sense because now you have a, a, a quarterback position that's empty. And I think they would rather have a guy like Lance be in that emergency spot just in case. So, Because basically this is just the emergency goalie role in hockey. So, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below. I want to know your guys' opinion. Let's see this shit show unfold. <laughs> Dominate the world. Dominators follow everything. Hope you guys have a great night and day. Peace.